So I'm here at Bloodstock with Essa and Tommy from Amorphis. How's it going, guys? Nice, thank you. Nice, thank you. Doing very well. Uh, you played earlier. How was it for you? It's your first UK festival appearance as well. Yeah. Uh, it was fantastic. Yeah. We didn't know what to expect, but it was like a blast. Now, obviously, Bloodstock is your first UK festival. How does it compare to the other festivals? I mean, what other festivals have you played? In the summer times, we usually we are on festivals every weekend. So yeah. we started to play festivals beginning of June, and the last festival is next weekend in Finland. But we play basically play festivals on, on every week and on the summertime. Yeah. Um, it's great fun, you know, you you meet a lot of friends from another bands where you usually don't meet on the other seasons of the year, so it's for us it's great fun. Um, festivals are like, you know, big meetings, you meet a lot of, lot of familiar people, friends and uh, really like festival seasons. So. How did you guys go about choosing the set list? Because you started off very light with Silver Bride and then it kind of went real sort of doomy towards the end. Oh, it's really hard. Uh, we have that many albums already out, nice studio albums, so it's always hard to pick up the songs. Like it's if it's hour of 45 minutes set, it's very difficult. We usually try to pick up songs from each album, at least play something. So that's our main goal. It says that you look to challenge your fans and reinvent every album. Do uh, do you, is that kind of pushing the boundaries on your writing? I mean, oh, yeah. are you focusing it on writing it for the fans, or do you write it oh, for yeah, yourselves? Yeah. Um, usually, we you know it's as selfish as it sounds, but we usually write the music for ourselves. But basically, we try to clear the mind and you know just start from a clear table, see what's coming out, and that's that's how it goes with every album, you know. Mm -hmm. New stuff sounds pretty much similar to what we did before. Sometimes it's it's opposite way. You never know what's going to happen. But that, that's how we like it in our music. You know, we always should take some challenges. You know, that I think that keeps the spirit up within the band. You know, yeah. if you continue with the same shit uh, album after album, then then I think you're finished after a few years. You know, uh, you have to be motivated. You have to always search about something new. That's cool. How are plans going for following up your last album, Skyfall? Uh, really nice, really nice. Um, I think it. Um, well, when Tommy joined the band, it's now five years ago. Yeah, it's Skyforge. It was the third album with him, and I think with that album, um, I can say we finally proved what sort of new Amorphis is about. But still, it's it's uh, from Eclipse, Silent Waters to Skyforge. It's been really nice hype for us. So. Have you got a concept or anything that you can tell us about oh, the yeah, album yeah. yet? Um, sort of. Uh, I think lyrically we're following the same steps what we did with the Skype last three albums. Yeah. Uh, dealing about Finnish mythology, old beliefs. Uh, Music-wise, really hard to say. We we have a lot of songs we've been rehearsing now during during the weeks when we're home. So uh, really hard to say how it's going to turn out. But I, I guess you know if, if people are fans with our latest album, they they most likely won't going to be disappointed. Yeah, there's some, some really progressive stuff coming out, so yeah. let's see what happens. Yes, yeah, for us it's already a challenge to rehearse yeah. the songs. So. <laughs>